And the Silicon Mountain Conference, which just ended and which took place at the Chariot Hotel Boya, which began on the 10th of November right up to the 12th of November, saw so many Cameroonian youths who rally to showcase their talent, to showcase their know-how to the public and to many dignitaries who attended the occasion, noting that CMTV and, of course, uh, CMflix was highly represented at the occasion. Of course, we did participate to see those Cameroonian youths who were showcasing different talents and of course we met with different personalities among which was the British High Commissioner who also spoke intensively regarding those youths who decided to bring on board solutions on how they can manage that's on how they can solve the issue of waste management in Cameroon let's listen to the British High Commissioner aspirations may become a reality uh, and how they might help uh, Cameroon and help Cameroonians deal with some of the very real challenges that face us. Okay. Well for us this is really about uh, following up on lots of relationships that we've been building up over years so even here represented uh, amongst the stallholders um, at Silicon Mountain are achievement scholars who've been to the UK, studied, brought back the expertise and you know worked really hard to try and develop their ideas, turn it into something that is marketable, something that is a business. Uh, and so as you saw, uh, FlexiBank is one of the you know potentially innovative game-changing approaches to, to things like mobile money, right? Um, and following up on that and our conversations with the University of Boya uh, yesterday where we were talking about um, how the university has a long standing engagement uh, and relationship with universities in the United Kingdom, um, how the Manchester, as how the University of Manchester, sorry, was part of their transition from being a college into uh, a university and how that relationship has continued forward to today. So it's been, it's been uh, wonderful to see the fruits of some of that labour over the years and we continue to uh, support and champion uh, some of those leaders who are going to be bringing us the innovations of tomorrow. But, but my aspirations are yeah. to see that some of these innovations uh, become real uh, business opportunities. Yeah. They become viable businesses which create jobs uh, that help, uh, particularly we were talking about um, a project, a, a proposition to create a sort of Uber for waste management, you know, help help communities, help the cities manage what are very real pressing problems, but at the same time protect the environment, create jobs, create wealth, create a market for something that would otherwise be thrown away. That's an amazing innovation. C'est un plaisir d'être ici avec des organisateurs et l'innovateur qui ont qui qui sont au Cameroun, um, papron pour uh, les entreprises de l'avenir avec les nouveaux technologies, uh, particulièrement pour le, le management des um, déchets um, et, le, et les autres activités comme le, le nouveau approche de, de mobile money. Well, à ce niveau, c'était une opportunité aujourd'hui. Of course, we also had the Paramount Chief of Boya, who also spoke intensively on how the youth are doing immensely well. And he also talked about the fact that there are other things that the youth of Cameroon can also explore when it comes to technology. Let's get to listen to him. Seeing me going around the stands, there's a lot of potential here. And uh, as, as people, the, the greatest transformers in the world right now are younger people. That's why Bill Gates had predicted that Africa will become the tech hub of the world very soon. And I see that here. I see technology is the way the world is going. We are now in what we call the fourth industrial revolution. We are talking about um, virtualization. We are talking about um, uh, virtual reality and, um, and things all about technology. So I believe that based on the attendance here, it's, it's eloquent proof that people are interested in technology in this area. And that's how we have to transform Cameroon. The leaders of the world of today are people who are transforming technology. So, so what were you expecting and were your expectations made? My, beyond my expectations, I've gone around the stands and I've seen how creative some of these people have, are. So this is more than my expectation. And even the, the enthusiasm that I've seen, I didn't know I'll meet so many people here. So that, that's, uh, that's a hard warmer for me. So one of the problems Cameroon is facing right now, in the, as my opinion as a tech person, is digitization. We have not succeeded in digitizing our government very well. 
our government is still depending on papers to sign and go to the DO and all those things could be could be digitalized so that you don't even need to go to the DO's office to get a document that you can just get online. Uh, even payment of salaries is still manual. Those are, Cameroon government only pays 12 salaries a year. That's just 12 times. That's not hard to make that computerized and set a particular date in the year where everybody receives their salary. Those are some of the areas that I think we can bring innovation to help our government. For some of us who also work remotely, although we are here working from the U.S., it's a challenge to convince people that you're coming to work here because Cameroon doesn't have strong cybersecurity laws. And so no tech company wants to come and function in an environment where you can't catch people who commit crime. Or there's no law on how to catch people. And so those are areas that I think we can help our country move it forward. Well, what they need, most of them is funding. And I've, I've been mentioning to them who have come to see me that uh, we, have, we have to look for something called venture capitalists. Okay. These are people who see a product and they negotiate with you. Either they buy it in full or they say, well, you give me 50% and I'll, I'll pay for, the, for this development. Okay. So we need to bring those here. Or we can start venture capitalists by ourselves. We can team up with quite a number of people who put 100 uh, million francs and we come here and look for things that we can sponsor. And then, because it's a win, I, you know, this is a business. Mm -hmm. It has to be something that will give me a profit that we can get our money back. Yeah. So what I'm looking for now, that I'm, I'm looking at bringing, is that, is capital. Okay. I, I, I mentioned in the WhatsApp how we started with uh, uh, 55 people. Mm -hmm. Instagram was just 13 people okay. before Facebook came and bought it. So once there's a good idea, people with money always look for it. But I don't think these, these people, they are getting enough advertisement for the, for the product that they are doing. Okay. So except for you people here, who else knows about these things? Okay. So we have to elevate the, the, the visibility of what they are doing so that we can attract funding from other places. Okay. Yeah. So at, at your own level, what are some of the mechanisms you have put in place to see that this should be realized? Well, this is my first time here. I'm excited to be here like okay. most people. And I've started talking with the organizers at the back. Okay. There are some things we can do. In, in, the, in the modern world, there are... There's a program in t on television called Shark Tank, okay. where like, like 10 people who are really you know, millionaires team together, and they ask people to come and present their ideas to them. We may need to start something like that here, because okay. there are a lot of innovators here, but we need to take them to the next level, they need funding. So that's some of the things we can start doing. Avec dans la, dans, dans la technologie, le, la, la jeunesse est le, 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 le facteur... Le... Just like a CM Flix and CM TV was one of the key sponsors to this event, Orange was also represented. Let's listen to one of its participants. Uh, I, I'm, it's fine. Everything's going well. I'm happy, but please are very hot. Uh. It's strange <laughs> in the Silicon Mountain. Please are usually cool. Okay. But um, power failures and all that affecting the air conditioning, so the whole place is just hot. Oh. Uh, a part of that, uh, I'm happy. Okay. It's all good here. Yeah. So Bayam is the simplest way for you to find any product you're looking for in any shop in Boya. Okay. Or Douala or Yaounde or Bamenda. Mm -hmm. You just type that you're looking for vegetables. Bayam will show you the shops and the mummies that are selling vegetables. Their location, their numbers, you call them and you buy and they deliver to your house. Mm -hmm. So you just install the Bayam app and you can search for any product. I tell you, within seconds, we'll tell you that there's a shop in Malingo that has a product. Mm -hmm. There's a shop in Bongo Square that has a product. Mm -hmm. That's Bayam. So grateful to be here and then... That was such a she, one of the co-founder of Bayam Talking. And of course, uh, he was also present at the Silicon Mountain Conference. And of course, we talk how Orange was also present. Just as a CM Flix and CMTV was one of the key sponsors to this event, Orange's company was also one of the sponsors. Let's listen to one of its participants. Luis, and I'm presenting Orange Cameroon. Uh, after this conference, I expect the population of the southwest region to use more of our services because we are best in terms of network and coverage. Uh, I, I'm, it's fine. And that was it for the Silicon Mountain Conference, noting that uh, one of the organizers, the main organizers to this event also spoke with us and of course told us the reason why they organized such big events, the Silicon Mountain Conference this edition 2022, why they organize it and how is it helping in our society. Let's listen to the main organizer of this conference. Well, Silicon Mountain is an innovation community okay. and we thought that every year it is important that we come together as a community of innovators and also to involve other people from other parts of the country to come together to discuss and connect and share ideas that is going to shape the future of technology in our country. That is how we came about with the Silicon Mountain Conference. 
The preparation has been fantastic. We wanted to bring people here to connect and I think that we succeeded. We have so many people, so many innovators, people, young men and women that are going over their bounds to build amazing things. Okay. They are here, they are connecting, they are meeting investors, they are meeting partners. That is what we wanted to achieve and I think that we are achieving that. The theme for this year is local solution for a sustainable digital economy. And why we came about with that theme is because we understood that there are a lot of solutions and innovation that young men and women are building here in Boya, okay. in Cameroon, that we think that if consumed more, can help catapult our digital economy forward. Okay. So the goal of this year team is to rally people behind innovators to help and consume this solution, to help them build more better innovation so that it can push our digital economy forward. I think that our expectations are gradually being met. Okay. By the end of today, we think that it's going to be amazing. I think we have heard about CM Flicks. They reached a huge amount of money recently. We okay. heard that and we applauded them and I think that it was a fantastic thing. And we are happy that they are partner for us in this conference. So CM Flix, um, the app has been so wonderful from the beginning that I encountered the app to now. And I really encourage you guys to get the app into your phone. Of course, pay for your subscription. You're going to enjoy the best of Cameroonian movies that you can get, African movies, and the best entertainment you can get in the whole of Southwest and, of course, in the whole of Africa. We thank uh, Silicon Mountain organizers so much for organizing such a great event how to help young people in Cameroon to showcase their talent. And we also thank those who went back home celebrating and those who did not get any awards we encourage them to work hard because other sessions will be coming up and of course we hope that they will be going home celebrating if they didn't celebrate this year and of course we say long live silicon mountain and of course long live to the organizers of such great events at this point we take you to the world of sports let's discover what is trending let's get to know what is making news